Hi, let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to animate UV maps. Okay, let's try it on this cube. First, let's put it on material preview and add an image texture. There we go. Open. I'm just going to use the one I got from textures.com. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Image textures. Let's use this one. Okay. So, to animate UV maps, you need two UV maps. The first one will be your base UV map, where it all started, what initially looked like. And the second one will be the end result of your animation, what your UV map, what your UV map will look like after the animation. So let's create two UV maps. We already have one, so let's just make another one in here. So if anyone's curious, it's in this tab, which is the object data properties. This is the first UV map that was created by default. Let's rename it, by, let's rename it to UV1. And let's make another one and name this UV2. Okay, so to edit the UVs, let's go to the UV editing, um, what do you call this? Works, workspace, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's go to material preview again and then go to UV maps and tab to edit mode. So it will show in the UV editor. Hit A to select all, and it will and it will automatically load in the image on the image editor window. And so this will be the base UV map. This will be the base texture. And now we'll have to edit the second one, which is UV two. This one. So to view it in, in the viewport, we need to tick this camera icon. So it tells Blender that we want to view the UV map, the mapping, the texture that we created on the viewport. And now we can edit this UV map however we want to. We can move the vertices around like that or for simplicity's sake, I'll just project from view. So UV, project from view, scale it up a bit. So now these two UV maps are, have their own different looks. Let's say looks. <laughs> so the first one will look like this, and the second one will look like this. See? Now how are we going to animate it? Well. We can't use it like shape key. We can't animate it like shape keys in here because in in the editor here, you can't really add keyframes in the points. See, so even if you right click, it doesn't have an option to add a keyframe. So we can't do that. What we can do is what we can do is go to the shading workspace and. As you can see, the image texture is already loaded in there. Now we need to add two input nodes, namely UV maps. Let's duplicate that. On the first one, let's load in the first UV map. And on the second one, you guessed it, let's load the second UV map. And now, this is like the secret to all of it. Um, let's get a mix RGB node and plug the first one, the first UV map to the first color and the second UV map to the second color and in the color output plug in to the vector of the image texture. Now if we move this factor value it changes so the first one would so at zero 
would be the first UV map and at 1 it will be the second UV map. I don't know the exact science on how this works but I just know that it does so that's pretty it's good enough for me. So anything in between would be some kind of um, combination of the two UV maps. Like, so as you can see, if we slowly drag it, it's like it's morphing from one to another. Now, it's obviously it's now easy to animate because everyone knows that you can just insert a keyframe in the factor value. Let's say, for example, let's go to layout go to frame 1, well we're already on frame 1 so go to shading, back again, insert a keyframe and then let's go to say at least frame 70 go back to shading move this to 1 and insert a keyframe now if you play this look at that your UV map is officially animated how cool is that? I'm not sure if a lot of people know this because I discovered it just playing around Blender. I didn't even look it up. I swear I didn't. So it's, I think like I discovered gold or something. I might be wrong, but <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, so with this method, you can do some crazy effects. I'll show you one. I'll delete this. It's loading a plane subdivide it a little bit Ooh, wait what's happening okay subdivide it and don't forget to apply the scale there we go and make new texture image texture open image textures and let's use this one okay now let's make UV maps we already have one so let's make that UV1 make another one name it UV2 UV editing tab you don't need to edit UV1 you want to edit UV2 okay now let's select all of this and then go to select tab check or deselect oh oh sorry i'm supposed to be in face mode select everything select check or deselect and now if i go here click the sync uv sync so whatever selected in the viewport here will be selected in the uv editing workspace okay, that's really cool isn't it so now we can try rotating this like let's say 90 degrees there we go okay now let's animate it so shading add the two uv's uv inputs uv map inputs uv1 duplicate uv2 and then the mix rgb node Plug it in first one to the first color input, the second one to the second color input, and color to the vector out vector input of the texture, the image texture. Okay. Now if we drag this, you can see that cool effect. Look. Look at that. Also, you now that you have this mix RGB node, it just opens up to a lot more possibilities. You can even add like a texture on the factor on the factor value let's say you add a musgrave in there what's musgrave look at that there's some you can barely see it but there's some some blotches in here now if, if we move the scale you can see it you can now animate this as well combination of the checkered texture <laughs> like the checkered UV map and the musgrave texture um, I'm pretty sure someone with a more artistic mindset <laughs> can find a use for this but yeah 
that's pretty much it. Uh, let's try animate this just for tutorial sake. Okay, let's delete that mask effect texture. Go to frame one, which we already are. And then go to shading, insert keyframe. And then go to frame 60. Drag it to one, insert another keyframe. And then hit play. Oh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? But yeah, that is how you animate UV maps. And thanks for watching.